Hello everybody, this is Scope, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Now, let's play, shall we? In this episode, we are going to go try and find the Colossus and defeat it. Let's go. Alright, so let's go over the basic controls, shall we? But first off, um, with the right analog stick, you can move the camera around and any direction you choose and what I find amazing in this game is you can even move it around during the cutscenes which is amazing and uh, it's gonna give you a few basic control schemas here you press square to, or triangle to jump and it says in a sunlit place hold up the sword using O to look where the light beam focuses so you press O and your little icons will come up there the hand is the weapons you're using you can use right and left on the directional pad to scroll through those you've got your sword your bow and arrow and your unarmed so bring out your sword and if you hold up O, you will hold the sword and see those beams of light culminating from the sword. Well, when they come together in one place and your controller will vibrate if you have that function, that's the direction you need to head to get to your current colossi. So you can do that in any place that is sunlit, but in like um, places that are shaded or dark you won't be able to do this because there's no sunlight to hit the beam on. Okay, and then let's go, oh, you can also, um, by pressing square, do a regular sword attack. You can also, um, whoops, you can also jump and then attack in the air. All right, and then with your bow and arrow, if you hold square, you can aim your bow and arrow. Aggro doesn't like this, so he'll always run away if he's near. And then you let go, and you'll shoot the arrow. It's that simple. All right, now let's uh, let's go mess with aggro. Come back here, buddy. And if you press X from any point, you will call aggro. If he's really far away, you'll whistle. And as he gets closer, he'll just start calling his name. All right, and you can press O when you're right next to aggro. And you uh, don't have a weapon out. And you'll pat him. All right, and you press triangle to get onto aggro. And you can move him with the left analog stick. And then you press X to kick to make him go in the direction you want. And you control the reins with the left analog stick, which is pretty much the direction he's facing. And if you pull back on the left analog stick, you can stop him right in his tracks. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to get on aggro quickly while you're running, and you might need to do this, is you run, jump, and then uh, I believe you hold down our. Oops. Yeah, let's see. You jump towards him. Oh, well, it's kind of hard to do this on the stairs. There you go. You pretty much. And then you hold down R1 and triangle, and you will grab on, like, kind of jump on him and grab on. Yeah! Alright, so we're out of the temple here. You can move the camera while you're on aggro. Uh, right in front of the temple here, we've got a... Oh, let's stop. Whoops, camera's kind of tricky to move around. Right over here, we've got a save point up these stairs. This is a save point. Um, the only place you can save in the game is in between each Colossus fight and then these random things thrown about. Pretty much press O right in front of it to pray and you'll be able to save. So let's just save our game, pick the slot, and I've got a bunch of games on here, so we'll just save over the first one, what the hell. It'll give you your playtime, how many Colossus you've defeated, and where you saved at. And yes, save complete, cool. And then when you turn on your game, you'll awaken at this point. You better know us. So let's jump on aggro. Come on, get on, buddy. Alright, anyway, we're just going to go straight up and head to our first Colossus because um, we learned some more stuff there. And yes, you can do this while you're on aggro too. Use the light beam thing. So we need to head right that way. You can also shoot your bow and arrows when you're on here. Legend of Zelda style. Shazam. Shazam. It's pretty cool. Alright, and then you press the start button to display the map in the current location. So this is the map of the place. You can zoom in. And uh, most of it's covered in clouds, but as you explore, those clouds will disappear, so do not fret. Cool. Yeah. Sorry this little introductory episode is maybe kind of boring, yeah. but you know what? You just got to learn how yeah. to play it, but then once you do, you're cool. You can press triangle to jump off aggro at any time, regardless of what speed you're moving. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop, or will not stop the episode, but I'm going to get off right here and show a few cool things. Uh, when you run into trees like this in the world, you're going to want to stop and check them out, because... These trees usually house fruits, which you can shoot down, and um, I guess I can explain. That little circle there is your grip strength, and when you press R1, you can grab onto things um, like hairy surfaces and whatnot. 
For example, this tree over here, it's got moss on the side. You jump and you can climb it. And as you can see, by climbing and holding on, our grip strength is whittling down. And when it gets all the way down to the end, you will automatically let go. And then the bar below that is our health. Naturally, you know how that works, I'm sure. And by finding fruits, oops, by finding fruits on these trees, shooting them down with arrows and eating them, it will increase our HP. And there will be ways to increase your grip strength later in the game too, but uh, we're not going to go about that right now. You can hear Agra going nuts. If he's anywhere around when you're shooting, when you uh, bring out your bow, he's going to freak out. So I can't see any of the fruit right here now. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to get down and check it out. Ooh. Yeah, and as you can see, I took damage from that fall. You can't just jump from anywhere and survive. This isn't Final Fantasy. Okay, I know there's a fruit on this tree somewhere. These guys can be hidden quite well. They blend in sometimes. Yeah, wow. Oh, maybe it's on the other side. Sometimes there'll be little trees by, their, by these trees, too. And they will have um, the fruit on them. Alright, well, okay, there's a little tree over here. I don't think it has any fruit on it, though, does it? Let's see. Yeah, and like I said before, I am going to be 100%ing this game. I'm going to be showing all the extra items you can get, defeating all the colossi, obviously. And, um, ooh, we got a little pond over here. Yeah, swimming is a whole other technique that we'll get into later. And I'm going to be showing all the traveling and anything, because this is a relatively short game anyway. So, um... I don't think it's a big deal to show everything. Uh, I thought maybe some of the fruit would be up here. You could always randomly shoot if you want and maybe hope you hit a fruit. Every once in a while I resort to that. But it's not that hard. Every, you should be able to find them. Okay, you know what? Um, I don't. I'm not. Gonna, I don't know if I'll be getting all of the fruit and the lizards because there's a lot in the game. But um, if I come across them, I'll definitely get it and show it because those are cool. Anyway, we're going to skip this one for now because we just need to get moving towards the first Colossus. So we're in this kind of shaded area now. As you can see, we can barely see the light now. So we need to head towards this little natural formation over here. Hiya! Oh man, this game is so awesome. But yes. Alright, so we come up these little stairs here. And you know you're in the right place when a cutscene ensues. Then you know you're in the right place. That's some pretty ominous music there. Alright, so now we're going to get into a whole new part of the game, a whole new segment, which is climbing and obstacle doing and stuff. So while using R1 to grab on, you can use the left analog stick to climb and move around. This uses your strength, so be careful. Then when you get to the top, you press triangle to pull yourself up. So you can pretty much press R1 on any surface, mid-jump, or anything, and you can grab onto it. Uh, not any surface, I meant like, you know, uh, grassy surfaces and whatnot. Let's press triangle to jump up here. I don't think there's anything over here. All right, and then we're gonna, you can adjust the camera to your liking, and boom, make that jump. Wander is a pretty good jumper, so don't worry about that. And if you want to climb on ledges, um, jump up to the ledge, press R1, and then press triangle to pull yourself up. So there you go. Oh, we've got some little wooden planks here. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I wonder who put those here. All right, and then to get under this, it's going to tell you a new technique you need to use here. Press R1 and triangle at the same time to execute a dive roll, which is like this. You don't really need to use this. There's no other times in the game you need to use this. Um, you, I never find myself using it very often, but um, if you want to travel quite faster when not on aggro and doing these parts that you obviously can't bring aggro up to, it is a lot faster, and it's kind of cool um, if you need to get out of the way of a Colossus attack real fast or something. Anyway, it's kind of hard to know where to go sometimes, but uh, let's just take a view out and see where we are real quick relative to the temple. Yeah, that's the temple way back there, so we've traveled quite a ways. Kind of high, too. Yeah, we're real high. All right, so then we can grab on here, and using the left analog stick, you can sometimes shimmy along an edge. You'll need to do that quite a lot. All right, and then when you're across from a ledge, uh, it should say, here we go, while still holding on, press and hold triangle, and then use the left analog stick to aim your jump. All right, so press and hold triangle, face that direction, when he's facing that direction. Oops, shit. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Wanda, what were you thinking? 
So yeah, you don't you don't let go of it, which is what I just did by mistake. You press triangle, face that direction, and then you press triangle again. So hold triangle, press that direction, and press triangle again. And you'll climb up. Cool beans. Looks like we're at the top. Oh yeah, you release triangle to jump in the chosen direction. That's what I did. I think I pressed triangle like twice or something. Oh, what's this? Holy shit. Okay, when they said colossi, I didn't know they meant like literally colossi. I thought you meant like twice my height, maybe. You know, like uh, Andre the Giant. Yeah, holy crap, this guy's shaking the trees over here. Alright, so I've already told you this, how to switch weapons. Alright, and that health bar that just appeared in the top left is, you guessed it, the Colossus, the Colossi's health bar. So you can use L1 to look at the Colossi, and if you hold L1, you automatically keep locked onto the Colossi. This is very important, you're going to want to do this quite a few times in the game. Um, he doesn't seem to notice this yet, so we're going to want to sneak up on him as quickly as possible. Um, there's two ways you can catch a Colossi atten Colossus's attention. First of all, you can shoot an arrow and hit them. Uh, we didn't hit him purposely, or you can whistle to call aggro, and that will get the Colossi's attention. Personally, I like to hit him with an arrow because it's funny. And boom, you can see some blood gush out if you shoot him right in his fur. Ooh, there you go, you saw that blood. And as soon as he notices us, the music will change, and he's going to turn around and face us. I think he sees us. Oh shit, he saw us. Let's shoot him again. Oh yeah, and, you can, and the thing I like also is the arrows stick in them, and they stay there when you're fighting this guy. So yeah, this guy will attack you, he'll use his little hammer there, so make sure you're careful. Always use L1 to keep an eye on him if you don't know what he's doing or where he's at. Because if they step anywhere near you, even within a few radius, feet radius, it'll still hurt you. And Dorman will give you hints every now and again if it's taking you too long. Hold up thy sword to reflect the light on the Colossus, and its vitals shall be revealed. Right, so if you use this to reflect light onto the Colossus, the light will culminate in its weak spot. So his weak spot is up there on his head. Cool. So pretty much to get onto this Colossus, we're going to need to find some way to start climbing this guy. Now you walk around long enough and you'll see he's got some fur on the back of his heel here. So raise your sword, by, and while you're holding, uh, he'll try to shake you off. So make sure you keep R1 held down to... Um, stay on him and then you can press square to raise your sword while you're grabbed on um, this will use your grip bar so be careful and then you press you let go of it and you will stab him now since he's got this little vein here that's a kind of a trigger point and by doing that he will kneel down and then we can get up onto this part of his leg here this little part of his armor and then we'll press square to slightly jump up now, as he's moving around you won't be able to move because it'll be you know shaking you and constantly using your grip bar we're going to grab onto his ass fur here and shimmy along this ledge. Now, like I said, this is, well, I never said this, but this is kind of a practice colossi. So this guy's got like a bunch of uh, safe platforms on him with little bars and stuff so that you can rest. Um, when you're on a safe spot on their armor, you can stand or you can press R1 to crouch so you don't fall around too much. And your grip strength will um, regain, which is good because if you lose your grip strength, you'll fall. And that's not good. Falling from a height off a colossus can kill you and then he'll you'll be knocked down he'll step on you and it'll be all bad so he's gonna try to shake us off here he's got these weirdly placed like little super safe spots even if you're standing up here you won't fall because of these little thingies so we're gonna jump onto his back fur and uh, his weak point will only show when your sword is out so make sure you have a sword out when you start climbing around this guy and those little spinal cords here now you don't just have to stab these guys in the weak spot you can stab them anywhere and every once in a while that will uh, frighten them enough to stay still for a while so you can get your grip strength back up or run around a little bit. Now, as you can see, this guy's weak point is up here on his head. So this is where we want to stab, and this is the only way you can do immense amounts of damage to this guy. As you can see, that took a huge chunk of his HP and blood's going to gush out, come rushing out as if it was being concealed in that one place. Um, you can do damage to him by shooting him with arrows and stabbing him in other places, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. You need to finish him off here in the weak spot. And after you stab him once, he's going to start flailing around like this to try to shake you off, because obviously you're trying to kill the guy. So make sure you keep an eye on your grip strength. If you start running low, go run around on his back, or maybe even to one of those platforms, regain your grip strength, come up here, maybe try to get a few more sword swings off, or sword strikes. As you can see, this guy's going nuts. He's not letting me get any stabs in. Let's try for one more. Boom. And uh, when you're holding square, you'll notice a little circle emanating from the grip strength bar. 
that's how much power you have. Once it gets to the top, you've got full power. Once it gets to the outer ring of the circle. So one more stab should do this guy. Let's fucking kill him. Boom! And the cutscene ensues, and you know you won. So that's it. First Colossus down, baby. Yes! Alright, so that Colossus, he wasn't very aggressive. Uh, he didn't start attacking us until we attacked him first. I don't know if you whistle if he attacks you, but anyway. So cool, we're off. Let's head back to Aggro and go see what's going on with him. I don't know how we're going to find the next Colossus, but holy shit, what is that? Oh my god! Was he not dead? Did he kill me? Am I dead? Is the game over? No! No! Not already! Well, that's weird. Some whispering? Whoa. That's weird. Yes, let's save the game. Okay, I guess we're not dead because it's letting us save. Okay, I guess that was supposed to happen. Yeah, some, some weird little black stringy things emanated from where his weak point was and just attacked me with unrelenting violence. It was horrible. Okay, we're back in the temple. Is that what happened? Oh yeah, it's the temple. Whoa, it's one of those black thingies again. Wander, get up. It's one of the black guys. Get your sword out. Oh, there she is. We're doing this all for you. I hope you're important. Oh, we're alive. Hmm, I wonder what that black stuff was. Maybe it was just like a teleportation device? I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. Hmm. I don't know. Well, at least we didn't have to travel all the way back here. Did Aggro come back? So many questions. Yeah, I don't think she's still alive, buddy. I don't think that was the only Colossi. Whoa. What is that? Oh, it's the idol. Okay, that must have been the idol representing the first Colossus. So since we killed him, the idol is destroyed. Interesting. So all these idols in here represent Colossi. Or a Colossus. Oh, looks like Dorman's gonna speak again. What do you got to say? So that's what the next Colossus looks like. Dorman will always give you a hint towards the next Colossus's location. And show you this statue of what it looks like. Okay, so the next Colossus in the seaside cave, it moves slowly. And I can hear Agra pulling up. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Right over there. Okay, guys, but we're out of time. So we're going to go try to find the second Colossi on Shadow of the Colossus in the next episode. This is Scope, signing off. See you guys next time.